And now we're also, not necessarily a new face we're about to speak to, but a person who's been with the city for a while who has a new role. Brad Kerr, previously Director of Engineering, is now Director of Public Works. Um, engineering is now a division under Public Works. So, hello Brad, and welcome back to City Beat because you've joined us before. Yes, I have, well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, now you have this new position. I know City Manager uh, Rochelle Smaltoni has done some reorganization of the departments. Public Works and Water Resources were together, now they're separated. Now you're over at Public Works. How long have you been with the city, Brad? I came here in 2003 as the Assistant Public Works for uh, Assistant Director of Public Works and Stormwater Manager. Wow, so you have really transitioned. What were some of the other jobs that you've held here at the city since 2003? So just Assistant Director of Public Works and then in 2005 I was named the Director of Engineering. So okay. that's kind of it. That's it. <laughs> What about before coming to the city of Rocky Mountain? Tell me a little bit about yourself, too, where you went to school, where you're from, all that good stuff. So I grew up in Fayetteville, mostly, uh, mm -hmm. since about third grade on. Um, went to NC State, graduated from there. I decided to go to the big city of D.C. I uh, worked mm -hmm. for a general contractor up there for about uh, three years, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. um, and then ended up back home in Greenville uh, in municipal engineering. Never mm -hmm. thought I would be doing that or working in stormwater, but mm -hmm. landed in Greenville in municipal engineering. Uh, uh, worked there for 12 years, uh, ended up send, setting up the stormwater utility for uh, the city of Greenville. Mm -hmm. And um, by the time we got that set up, I ended up coming over here to Rocky Mount to set up the stormwater utility and as the assistant public works director. Wow, and things have been good to you here in Rocky Mount, huh? So far, so good. <laughs> All right. Talk to us a little bit about what your responsibilities were in engineering. So engineering is really the um, in-house consultant for almost every department in the city of Rocky Mount. We work for planning, public works, water resources, um, the parks and recreation. Um, mm -hmm. We've done some stuff for fire department, mm -hmm. even uh, energy resources on some of the civil related stuff that they might need to do, address a drainage problem at some of their sites or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, we manage the signal system. Um, we do um, operation and maintenance for the regulatory signs and pavement markings, uh, transportation planning, uh, so that we are the uh, lead agency for the um, MPO, which is the Metropolitan Planning Organization, does transportation planning for uh, the Rocky Mount urban area. Uh, we also do distribution and collection for water and sewer, do the major engineering projects for that. Anything that goes from new construction or major maintenance projects, we will do manage the design and construction of those projects. Um, also, inventory and mapping of all of those systems, street system, Mm -hmm. stormwater system, water and sewer system, and then plan review for anything that's related to the transportation, water, sewer, stormwater management, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, and then contract administration for the various types of construction that are, relate to that. That's a lot. It's a fair <laughs> amount. It can keep, exactly. us, keep us busy. Yeah. Exactly. And occasionally we get involved in building projects like the event center yes. uh, and uh, mm -hmm. South Rocky Mount uh, Community Center and mm -hmm. might be pulled in to help with fire on one of their sites or something like that. So, so it kind of touches everything. And I remember the last time, last few times you were on the show, we were talking about that huge Rocky Mount Event Center project. Yeah. Um, now, because you touch so many different departments and public works, it seems to make sense that engineering would fall under public works. Yeah, it's not an unusual organizational structure. Uh, in fact, in Greenville, that's exactly the way we're. Engineering mm -hmm. was a division of the public works department and housed many of the same divisions that we have in public works now. Okay. Public Works, I know, is a huge department. How many employees will you be overseeing now? I think we have about 165 uh, in six divisions. So we have what we call an engineering design, transportation engineering, transit, um, and now we have street maintenance and sto street and sto streets and stormwater division, mm -hmm. um, environmental services and fleet maintenance. Okay. So now you'll be over all of the overseeing all of those divisions pretty much. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, tell me a little bit about your short term and, and maybe your long term goals for the department. Well, I think short term is just trying to integrate uh, administrative processes and get everybody up to speed on everything and working together in unison, which is, you know, it's gone fairly, fairly well. We're mm -hmm. making a few minor adjustments and those kind of things. So that's really the short term because we've worked with these guys for years and years mm -hmm. and years. It's not a major 
major change. You know, we've always provided assistance to streets on a variety of things. Some stuff on environmental services, um, minor things like that, but, and then fleet. We all have vehicles that had to go to fleet, so, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so. congratulations, let me say that. On your, uh, on your new role. But uh, tell me too, what would be your words of advice? I've asked everybody this, to those students or those individuals who say, hey, that's what I wanna do. What would be your advice to them? So if you're interested in public works, public service, public works is definitely a great place to, to look at. Uh, and if you're specifically interested in public works, civil engineering is a great pathway into that. Um, Civil engineering in itself is really broad. Obviously, everything that we've talked about here uh, is something that you would engage in um, as a civil engineer. Water, sewer, storm waters, transportation. And within that, signal systems is really kind of computer related these days. Um, so there's a breadth of opportunity if you were interested in public works. If you go to civil engineering, the, the width of things that you can do as your career develops are much broader versus if you're coming in in a different path, you might be a little bit narrower. And then municipal engineering, for a civil engineer, I would say municipal engineering is a great path uh, because you're not locked into one particular discipline. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what we do every day, I might touch five or six different disciplines, you know, because we transportation, mm -hmm. stormwater, water, mm -hmm. sewer, building, you know, whereas if in the private sector, you might be just stormwater or just transportation or just, so as a municipal engineer, you get to engage with all of that. And then you also have such a direct connection with your community um, in providing that benefit. So, you know, what you work on, you live and participate in, and you can see that direct benefit. When you go help a resident, you have that direct interpersonal connection. And because of that, it's a really rewarding part of the civil engineering um, path. So. Yeah, great advice, great advice. Before we wrap up, any additional comments that you want to make? No, just come to Rocky Mount. We got great things happening here, right? Center of it all. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I love it. You were the second person to use that tagline. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Brad, for joining us on City Beat again, okay? Well, thank you. All right, thank you for tuning in as well. When we come back, you'll have an opportunity to meet Brenton Bent, our new director of water resources. You're watching City Beat. <laughs> Maria, so how's work? It was fourth period biology. Our students just weren't getting how easily viruses spread. So Miss Bell and I had them role play a zombie virus outbreak. By the time they had all learned the lesson, all the living were dead. Hey, how's your job going? That big sales meeting I planned? Next year, I might get to go. <clears throat> cool. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another edition of City Beat. And we're talking about City Manager Rochelle Small Tony's reorganization of some key departments within the city of Rocky Mount. And one of those departments is Public Works and Water Resources, which are now two separate departments. And joining me right now, we have Brenton Bent, the Director of Water Resources. So, hello, and welcome back to City Beat, might I add, because you've been on the show before. Thank you very much, Tamika. Thank you very much for having me. I'm delighted to be here, and I bring greetings to the citizens and our customers in Rocky Mount, and blessings too. Yes, you've been on the show before, but not as a director. So now you are Director of Water Resources. So congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I am honored by the confidence that the manager has in me, and I am committed to doing the very best I can to move this department forward. Okay, well, first, I wanted to give an opportunity to citizens to get to meet you, get to know you a little bit for those who don't. Tell me first a little bit about yourself. Well, first and foremost, I am from the beautiful Caribbean island of Jamaica. I attended high school there and I did my associate in laboratory technology at the University of Technology um, in Kingston. Um, I immigrated to the United States in 2002 and I must say Rocky Mount became my adopted home and I love it. Um, I pursued additional educational opportunities here in the United States, recogni recognizing the need to have an American qualification. So I attended Nash Community College for my associate in business administration, and then I moved on to Wesleyan College. I did my bachelor's in um, business administration, and then I did a master's degree in management and leadership at Montreat College. Um, during my time with the city, I started as a lab tech 
I was grateful for the opportunity that this organization has offered me. Um, worked in the lab as a lab tech and then a supervisor. Mm -hmm. And um, then I transitioned to code enforcement, where I served as a community code supervisor for a couple of years. I really did relish that opportunity to serve in code enforcement because it brought me closer to the community. And um, hen from then I, I was appointed assistant director and uh, I was responsible for the water um, treatment plant, the wastewater treatment plant, um, the technical services, well, now known as water quality services, and um, code enforcement. So uh, recently, with the restructuring of the department, I assumed the position of um, director. So again, I'm just I'm grateful for the opportunity and uh, I'm committed to doing my best. So Brenton, as assistant director of water resources, the transition, I would imagine, was natural for you, right? How, how, how did it feel being appointed director? Uh, it was natural. Um, I worked as the assistant director with responsibility for the water treatment plant, the wastewater treatment plant, and um, the water quality services division and code enforcement. As director for water resources, what I have done is, or what the manager has uh, done in the restructuring was to remove community code and put that in another department and then I incorporate water and sewer. And so it's a natural fit because the entire water resources department is, the, all the divisions within the department is so interconnected. Okay. We're making water, we're transporting that water through the distribution system into our customers' homes and businesses, and then we are collecting the wastewater from their homes and businesses and treating it at the wastewater plant. So it's a natural flow from treating, treatment to distribution to collection to treatment again. Mm -hmm. So uh, I enjoy, I'm enjoying what I do. You do because every time I talk to you, you're talking about water. You just love water. What motivated you? What got you into that field? Well, certainly, um, as a child growing up, and my, in, in my first exposure to chemistry mm -hmm. in high school, I have always been interested in the sciences, but in particular chemistry. And my first job in Jamaica was working with the government in the Ministry of Mining and Energy, mm -hmm. and later with the Scientific Research Council. And during that time, as a lab technician, I was responsible for the collection of water samples from wells all across the island. So I was already into the mode of testing for different elements in water and see how they compare to different areas of the island based on the rock formation and what have you. But um, that interest in, wa in, in water didn't just start yesterday or since I joined the city. I've been doing it from when I was in Jamaica. And coming over here and when I saw that job posting for a uh, lab technician in the water and wastewater treat at the water and wastewater treatment plant. I said, "This is indeed up my stream." Uh -huh. No pun uh -huh. intended. Exactly. So <laughs> I I went. St I applied for that position and was fortunate enough. And then during my tenure here with the city, I've had the opportunity to really be exposed to um, how water is treated, how wastewater is treated, uh -huh. and it is just a fascinating process just to see how you can transition raw water from the river to drinking water and then drinking water becoming wastewater eventually and how you can transition that wastewater back to water that's readily that's even better than the quality that's already in the river as you put it back mm -hmm. and you've been with the department when they've won various awards as well right because you've been here how long i now? have been i have been with the city since 2003 okay so that makes it 16 years this past may it's been 16 years since i've been working with the city mm -hmm. um the, the wastewater treatment plant was recognized as an exceptional performing facility back in 2016. Mm -hmm. And so um, with that designation, this, the, this, the state allows the city to go to reduce monitoring because this, the plant has done so well mm -hmm. that they, they would allow you to do less sampling throughout the, throughout the week mm -hmm. um, to report. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's just a wonderful designation to have. And it shows the commitment and dedication of the employees and the passion that they bring to the job every day. Exactly. So you're already doing well. What, what would you say some of your goals are for the department? Well, we have to look at both long-term and short-term goals. Mm -hmm. In the short term, we are aware that we, are, we have aging infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So we have to address that. And thankfully, the council and our city manager is behind that effort. Mm -hmm. They have also recognized in it, and the department is getting immense support for addressing aging infrastructure.
okay. um, old pipelines that are not visible to the general public that have been in the ground for 40, 50, 60 years. Uh, we are t we're talking about um, plant equipment that has also um, is close to the end of their, use youth, um, their useful life cycle. Uh -huh. So with the effort from council and the manager, we are definitely addressing that in the short term. In the long term, we have to be prepared. <coughs> we have to be prepared for changes. And when you talk about changes in the industry, you're talking about regulatory changes from both federal and state. So we also have to be mindful of what are some of those changes and, <coughs> and how will it impact plant operation? Will we be meeting permit limits and mm -hmm. all those kind of things? So mm -hmm. we constantly have to be making sure that we are keeping up to date with all the the newer technology that will make sure that we are operating within permitted guidelines. Gotcha. And you know, before we wrap up, Brenton, I gotta ask you, what words of advice would you offer to others who want to pursue a career like you have today? The, the thing I'll say to that is, without the passion, you are not gonna be successful in this position or in any position that in any career. Mm -hmm. um, I think passion is, is a very important thing. I know you have a passion for what you do. Mm -hmm. And when you have that passion, then you'll go above and beyond to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And it is that level of preparation that, il that will eventually pay off. And so my advice to anyone who wants to pursue a career is to be prepared. And that means preparing yourself academically. Be familiar with um, the, the, the technologies that's involved. Be familiar with whatever you can read up um, that tells you ab about the processes. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, don't forget what you're here for. We're here to serve the citizens of Rocky Mount with good taste in water, and we are here to make sure that when they take their showers and they flush their toilets, that that water is treated in an appropriate manner um, before it goes back into the river. We have to protect the waters of the state. Water is life, and that's just not a cliche um, thing. It is really life. And um, I just wanted to add that a new initiative that I'm introducing in the department um, to add to the passion and to support that passion is what I consider to be a director's work day. So for one day out of each quarter, mm -hmm. I'll be putting on my hard hat, my steel toe shoes, and my safety vest. And I will be working alongside the employees, whether it's in the ditches, in the digester at the wastewater plant, or in a sedimentation basin at the water plant, or in the lab, I want to be, I don't want to lose my passion and to lose my connection with what has brought me to my position as director, mm -hmm. because I remember working in the lab, washing glass, we are collecting samples at the wastewater plant. So I want to go back and do that one day out of each quarter. I will be uh, making sure that I be, uh, I'm shoulder to shoulder with the employees. It will give me an opportunity to bond with them experience some of the challenges that they are experiencing and to offer any kind of encouragement and advice and to learn more of what makes them glow and what is bringing out the passion in them because I think that's important from a management perspective to always recognize who are the fighters, who are the boots on the ground and what these folks are doing to make the city of Rocky Mount the better and best place to live. Remember, we are the center of it all. And we gotta be prepared for all these industries that may be coming into town. We have capacity, we want them to come by and, and drop anchor here in Rocky Mount because it is where it all is happening right now. That is an excellent idea. It really is. So let me know when you do that. Maybe we can go get some footage of it too, okay? Absolutely. All right. Well, I, it, what I would just want to say that I, I really am not doing this, to me, to be honest with you, for the publicity. The bigger issue is I want to be able to bond with mm -hmm. the employees mm -hmm. and let them recognize mm -hmm. that they have my support and I need their support because without them, we don't, we don't have nothing. If we don't have the employees to have that passion and not just doing this for their paycheck. Because think of two o'clock in the morning when an, uh, an operator has to go down into a sewer line to, chain, to, 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 to clean it because it's clogged up, to prevent raw sewage from backing up into a business. Mm -hmm. That takes passion. That's more than just it a does. paycheck. Yeah. And so I, we want to, I'm, I'm doing this because I want these guys to understand, these folks to understand that I am with you. I appreciate what you do. Well, how much better can I help you? What can I do to make your job easier or um, you know, less challenging, whatever? The, but um, it is about unity and camaraderie and teamwork because that's the way water resources will continue to be the department that will be the envy of not just the city of Rocky Mount, but all across the state. 
Wow. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. I see why you're in the position you're in. So we're, congratulations. We're here to serve. <laughs> exactly. And thank you for being on the show today. OK, uh, you're welcome. All right. Thank you for tuning in as well. Brenton Bent, our new director of water resources. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of City Beat. And maybe in a few weeks we can sit with Brenton and understand the water process from beginning to end. If that's OK Absolutely. with you. All right. Absolutely. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Tamika Keenan Norman. You're watching City Beat.